Number 60. Complete the changes in concentrations or pressure requested for each of the following reactions. And then we have this reaction out of the bunch. So we have to find out the changes between NH4Cl solid, which comes to equilibrium with NH3 gas, plus HCl gas. Okay, so we always have to start with what we're given. In this case, they gave us NH3 gas, which changed by a factor of X, and that equals this number. Now, notice here, guys, that the change was an X, but that means that it's a positive value, right? If something is changing by a positive value, that means that this is increasing. So if this product is increasing, what's going to happen to the other product? Yeah, it's also going to be increasing. They're on the same side. They're both products, so they would be both increasing. If we had something on the reactant side, that would be decreasing. But now we don't care about this because, remember, solids and liquids do not matter when it comes to equilibrium. They do, they're not in the formula. So that's why there's no lines for this. So let's just focus on this one. Well, like we just said, since NH3 was increasing, I know that the HCl has to be a positive value as well. But now what's the number that goes here? Well, that comes from the coefficients. There was nothing in front of the NH3. That means that there was one. And the same thing goes for the HCl. There was just one. So we add by the coefficient, right? This is the same thing as saying plus 1x. The 1 came from because the coefficient of NH3 was a 1. But 1x is just the same as x. So the same thing here, guys. This would be plus 1x, but 1x is the same as just x. And now we just need to find out the number. But it's exactly the same. If x was equal to 1.03 times 10 to the negative formularity, and you're adding the same amount, this would be the same number. So in this case, both products are increasing by 1.03 times 10 to the negative formularity. We do not know the initial. We don't know the final, aka the equilibrium concentration. All we know is that we're increasing by this number. Also keep in mind that remember, NH4Cl solid there is no change in concentration, aka molarities. Remember, the only thing that would be changing here is the mass. And since the concentration isn't changing and just the mass, we also don't care about this at all. So hopefully that helps. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. And let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.